In this video I am going to be revealing the best ways of using support and resistance to assist you in making better trade decisions. But before we start, be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss on any of our new videos. With that being said, let's get into today's video. First, what is support and resistance? Support and resistance are basically price levels that mark important turning points in a market. You can think of them as barriers that prevent the market to go in a certain direction. A support is an area on that chart that prevents the market from falling below or going downwards. Similarly a resistance level is an area on the chart that prevents the price from pushing above or going upwards. The question is, why do these levels work? The answer is, basic human psychology. Behind these charts, there are real traders like you and me. And all humans have greed and fear. These emotions of greed and fear is what makes support and resistance so powerful. Let me explain. Let's say that you watch the price make this massive up move. So, you think that the price is in an uptrend. Do you see the price make this pullback? You decide that it is a good opportunity to buy here. So you buy the stock at this price. As soon as you buy, the price tanks down. You realize that the trend has already changed, but you are too afraid to vacate your position. The loss is too big. So, you wait for the price to make a small up move so that you can exit at a smaller loss. Your patience is rewarded when the market makes an up move right at your entry. Hence, you are now at a break even level. You thank God for the mercy and sell your position. Your sell order creates a selling pressure in the market and the price drops. A lot of traders like you we trapped at this price. Therefore, when they sell their positions, we see a strong down move in the market. So this becomes a valid resistance level. The same thing happens at a support level. The traders that sold here we trapped in a losing trade. Therefore, they exited their position here and created a buying pressure. Hence, the price went up and this level became a support level. Support and resistance are one of the foundations of technical analysis. So it becomes very essential to learn how to correctly plot these levels. How do you identify support and resistance levels? You would be surprised to know that most of the traders don't know the correct way of drawing support and resistance levels. The best way of identifying support and resistance levels is by looking for the most obvious turning points. That means we are looking for V-shaped market turning points. So on this chart, we see a V-shaped turning point in the market and we plot a support level here. And as you can see, the price tested the same level and the level gave support to the price. Similarly, here we see a turning point and we mark a resistance level here. As you can see, the next time the price came near the resistance area, it saw a sharp sell-off. The mistake that most traders make is that they see these small pullbacks and plot support levels here and the plot resistance levels here. These small two to three candle moves cannot lead to strong levels. These are weak levels and will not act as barriers to the price. So we want to look for major turning points to plot the support and resistance levels. Now, an important characteristic of support and resistance levels is that they are bipolar in nature. This means that, whenever the price breaks a resistance level, it becomes a support. Inversely, when the price breaks a support level, it turns into a resistance level. We can combine this characteristic with a moving average to find the best trading opportunities. For instance, here we have a 50 period EMA represented by this blue line. We marked a resistance level here, and the price broke above it. Hence, we now expect the price to find support at this price and make a higher move. We also realize that the 50 period EMA is right around this level. 
So, there is now a high probability that the price will find a strong support at this level. So, we can buy here. We can keep our stop loss below the support level and keep our targets at 1.5 is to 1 risk to reward ratio. And as you can see, the price comes into this area, finds support, and makes a strong up move. So we easily achieved our targets. The same thing happens on this chart. Here we see that the price breaks this support level here. So now, we expect this level to provide resistance in the future. As new candles are formed, we notice that the 50 period EMA coincides with the resistance level. Hence, there is a high probability that the price will find a strong resistance here and continue the downtrend. So we can sell here. We can keep our stop loss above the resistance level, and we can place our targets at 1.5 is to 1 risk to reward ratio. As you can see, the price comes into this area, finds resistance, and makes a strong down move. We made a profit on this trade. Now, we can also combing support and resistance with the MACD indicator to find opportunities. So, we could use MACD crossovers to trigger our entries at key levels. For instance, here we see that the price broke this resistance level. Hence, now we expect the price to find support here. So, when the price touches this level from above, we wait for the MACD line to cross above the signal line. The crossover happens here. So we enter on this candle, and we keep our stop loss below the support level. We can keep our targets at 1.5 is to 1 risk to reward ratio. And as you can see, we made good profits here. Here is an example of combining MACD with resistance level. So here we see that the price broke this support level. Hence, now, we expect the price to find resistance at this level. When the price arrives near this level, we will wait for the MACD to give us a bearish crossover. That is, the MACD line should cross below the signal line. Here is our crossover. Hence, we can sell here. We can keep our stop loss above the resistance level, and we can place our targets at 1.5 is to 1 risk to reward ratio. So, the moving average and MACD are just an example. You can use different indicators and test them yourselves. That brings us to the end of this video. Here, I have given you the best ways of using support and resistance levels to generate consistent profits. If you liked this video, then be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss on any of our new videos.